Welcome back to Toledo's Most Local 9 a.m. show. Good day. Spring is officially here, and it's hard to believe, but Easter is a week from this Sunday. John Monk has found 50 acres of Easter fun in Bowling Green. Good morning, John. Good morning, guys. Yeah, if you're if you're not ready to plan your own Easter egg hunt yet, but you still want to get the kids out and about and, and, and enjoy some nice nature outside here in Wood County, the Wood County Museum has an annual event right up your alley. I'm joined with Marissa. She's from the, the Wood County Museum. Thanks for having us today. Thanks for coming out. So starting tomorrow, you guys have a, spe a fourth annual event you guys are hosting. So tell me about your Easter egg hunt here. Yeah, this is the fourth annual uh, Easter egg scavenger hunt that we're going to be having. Uh, it will cover all of our 58 acres of ground so you can come out and get some nice exercise, walk around, find some clues, check them off on the little passport and win a prize. Yeah, yeah. And, and as you said, mm -hmm. uh, this is a, a fun free event yes. for people to come in and enjoy the grounds and sort of get on your guys' property a little earlier than maybe normal tourism season. <laughs> but uh, this is something that launched uh, during COVID for you guys to try to get people, uh, you know, in and, in and out of your guys' facility here. Yeah, it did. Uh, it started in uh, 2021 as a way to try to get some more people out here. Uh, we we started with actual Easter eggs mm -hmm. that we had, not the signs, uh, and we quickly learned that the <laughs> eggs didn't work that well. Um, it started with 100 eggs that we mm -hmm. hid, and I thought it would go all week, like, oh, you know, hide 100 eggs around, I'll take people a week to find them. Uh, I was wrong. Yep. <laughs> uh, it took one day. <laughs> so uh, after doing that for two years, we kind of regrouped and reorganized and switched to the story stop signs yeah. um, so that pe everyone could participate. It wasn't just a few select people yeah. winning prizes, that everyone would get one. Yeah. And you also told me before we went on air that you actually found one of those eggs from two years ago yes. still in its hiding spot, probably. <laughs> we did, yeah. <laughs> Our uh, landscaper, he found one of the eggs last year from the 22 season underneath uh, the handicap <laughs> ramp up by the front door. <laughs> so, yeah, this seems to be a fun way for people who may have visited the inside of the museum but haven't really checked out your guys' grounds here to, to sort of explore and really get acclimated to the 50 acres you guys have out here. Yeah, you know, we have a wonderful property out here uh, in most of the actual buildings that are around the story stops head are original to the property with the exception of a few uh, mm -hmm. that were brought here later. Um, but we just also want to get people educated about what the site was. And so having people come out to the grounds and walk around and visit these story stops, read the bright blue interpretive signs mm -hmm. that are around, uh, it's a great way to do that. Yeah. So how can people participate? Um, it's free, so they just yep. show up? Yeah, it's a free event. We'll have um, passports inside on the front porch you can pick up. You can also pick up passports at the two kiosks the one kiosk in the parking lot and the one kiosk back in the herb garden. We'll also have passports in case you stop by when we're after open hours or anything. Yeah. Uh, and then once you complete your passport, you can bring it on into the front porch and get a prize. Excellent. And then what else? We have about 30 seconds left. So what else is going on with your guys' museum here that people can also check out if they do come out for your Easter egg scavenger hunt? Yeah, you know, we have uh, three exhibits inside that you can visit as well. Uh, we have our wedding dress exhibit that's still up until the end of the year. So if you haven't seen that, come check that out mm -hmm. and then make sure to check out our website for all of the other free events we'll have coming up this summer. Excellent. So if you guys, you know, it, it, it's a little chilly today, but it's supposed to maybe warm up just a little bit more next week, especially if your kiddos are on spring break, you're looking for something to do outside and explore some local uh, Wood County history. Come on out to the to the free annual Easter egg scavenger right here at the Wood County Museum. We'll have more coming up later today on this exhibit coming up at five o'clock. But for now, reporting live from Wood County, I'm John Monk, WT. Well, 11.